All right, and we are back. And what's this? A map with battle stuff going on. Crazy. All right, so I'm just going to take a really quick moment. Uh, this is the Heartless. So it's the, the huge dude with the hole in his chest that's got the like massive weapon and another one slung on their back, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, these two horrific looking little monsters are going to be the hounds. Uh, they are the things that are chained up to the gauntleted fist of the heartless and these guys are basically like the the desiccated metal like bolted onto them kind of like line troops um and that's that's what you guys are looking at so uh uh let's Gross. Uh, yeah yeah <laughs> you folks you folks are, are are in a controlled position right so like they haven't spotted you and what they've been doing is um uh, the, the hounds are, are currently eating them, but the, the people in armor, like the, the Heartless is standing there looking around, but the people in armor are going into the houses and you hear occasional crashes and stuff. And then you'll see them dragging bodies out and they throw them onto the pile and the hounds like dive on them and start like ripping them apart and showing them in their mouths. So um, that's, uh, yeah, that's the scenario. If you want to wait until one of one or two of these... Uh, uh, the of the armored go- uh, goons are in the in the buildings. Uh, let me know. I'll, I'll shift yeah. them around a little accordingly. I, that seems like a pretty smart idea. Mm-hmm. Wait until they've walked in somewhere, then the sniper takes a shot. Seems like a good call. All right. So uh, this is this is roughly where we're standing at. Uh, I'm going to move these guys a little bit out of position too, so that to indicate that they're coming from another building. Uh, so the two right in front of the big guy, those are the all on all four mangled Hannibal. ones. Oh yeah. Yeah. They're referred to yeah, they're they're you can call you guys should give them a nickname. Uh you can call whatever you want. On Prowlers. all fours mangled is yeah. <laughs> I, uh, w- w- <laughs> I feel bad. I know their actual names, so I don't no, like having no. good nicknames. I uh basically one of the things that their actual name is something that the Legion might call them to like as a shorthand. I love Prowlers, so they're gonna be called Prowlers from now on. What, that's what you say, James, right? No, but that's better. <laughs> oh, oh what, what did you say? Growlers. <laughs> growlers? I like growlers. growlers they have, like the mangled good. teeth. I like growlers. Girl. Sorry, I heard I heard prowlers. I thought that was better, to be honest. Yeah, I like prowlers. So yeah, they don't have formal names. It's not like the the broken actually say this is named a thing, and now you shall call it a thing. No, nah, they just make them. They're monstrosities, and then the Legion comes up with names based on kind of how engagements go, so that everyone kind of knows what you're facing. Yeah. Alright, so, uh, cool. So, the way this usually works is whoever's in charge, I'm so sorry, Ginge, uh, has to roll a martial roll uh, in order to see the disposition of the troops when they first engage. So, I have one dot in that. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice. That's better that is- than yeah. You've got some leadership training. Uh, cool. You had uh, she's just bossy. She's not actually a good leadership role. She's just boss. Uh, it does mean <laughs> that you can put people in order though. And so the question that I have is, uh, does anybody want to assist? Elspeth uh, stress. Mostly, I'm looking at the medic who's going to be leading the ground troops. I mean, That's I can fair. I can assist. Mm-hmm. I can definitely take a stress for this. Sure. Well, it's uh, yeah. Just was- once. So Ginge, uh, well, it's it's a little, uh, it's totally fine, Alice. Your your yeah. enthusiasm is noted, and I think that what you're saying is tactically very sound. But yeah. um, speaking from like the perspective of the narrative, it's really weird no, if like a rookie is helping a commander unless you have it's, a good story for it. So it's less that I'm like reinforcing what the commander's saying. It's what I think is happening is Zani is trying to be a good like re- like a good role model for the okay. other rookie. Where it's more mm. like follow the rookies and what they're doing, like follow me. I'm the ideal rookie. Let's go in and let's charge in with a rifle, all that good stuff. Like I can feel that. I can feel that. That sounds great. Uh, do you want to spend a stress, Alice? Yeah, I'll, I will. I will spend. Cool. It. So, uh, Ginge, you get two dice. I'll okay. let you do it. It's fine. Uh, I'll save my stress. <laughs> I don't have a handy devil's bargain, uh, but you can push if you want. Okay. Uh, so risky standard, and then I am gonna push myself. That's one stress, right? It's too stress. Two. Stress. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna do that then. It's fine. Save, saving it is smart. It's good. Uh, so, well, you know, that's a number twice. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, weren't we in a control position as we went into this? Uh, you were. You you were. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Got it. Got it. Uh, 
All right. Uh, then. Now you're in a risky position. I'll tell you what that looks like. I sure, think. Uh, sure. Sure. Mm-hmm. You folks turn around. Uh, you see your your sniper climb up and and set up uh, the shot. But before you can actually get into kind of like the ideal position where you can control everything, um, these uh, you see the the one of the hounds like lifts up their head and just and then howls and then the other one howls too and it's this resonating echoing thing that you feel shaking in your bones and then uh the 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 big thing with the hole in his chest turns around and you hear it basically make these like loud uh barking noises like like it just like and like you'll see the 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 people from the houses come running out and uh the big guy is going to start advancing and this is all part of the plan. You guys knew that this was coming. What you don't realize is that the hounds are way faster than you thought. So, like, somebody has the flame oil and is getting ready to, like, throw it on the ground. And then the idea is they're going to run through the fire and be on fire while you're fighting. That all sounds great. But before you do that, they basically, like, one, two, then leap up to the fence, leap up to the side of the building, run along the side of the building at incredible speed, and then jump onto the rookies. And their chains and are longer than we thought, too. Oh, no, he lets them go. The chains oh, are trolling. Uh, gotcha. Yeah. Release the hounds indeed. Okay. Yeah. Can I try to take a shot at this big guy as he's oh, probably the leader since he's, you know, growling yeah. up the storm and, you know, yelling at people? I'm going right. to take a shot. And what is the. It's risky? Because uh, I'm in the back. Maybe. I don't know. For you, it's controlled. I think you're, you're, you're arguing it correctly. Um, yeah. Give me, give me a controlled. Uh, Controlled shot here. I'm gonna make a little clock for this guy because he's huge and kind of tough. Mm-hmm. Um, is there a way I can set you up here? Uh, so a setup involves you taking an action that would somehow change her position. Uh, what could you What could you possibly do? Uh, to um, set her up? My thought here is before you lay the volley, it's if I could just min- maybe pull one of the dogs okay. off to the side to get a clearer shot. If yeah, I'm exactly. Street, I'm actually going to, I'm going to, I want to expose myself to harm essentially by like shouting at a dog or, and like kind of being like over here kind of thing. Right. Or like trying to get the dog to like look at me. Cause then it makes a, a much clearer like shot on, uh, on, on the dog <laughs> rather than it like chasing them right now. You know what I mean? Uh, the dogs are already attacking the rookies. Like yeah, the, the, the dogs are already attacking the yeah. Okay. Can I, I, I want to see if I can do something to protect the, the rookies on that score, but uh, I All right, think fine. this shot Just, at the big guy yeah. is is unrelated to that task. Okay. Uh, so standard effect? Uh, yes. Okay. And this is okay. where I'm going to push myself. Awesome. So the question that I have for you is, are you pushing for effect or are you pushing for an extra die? Also, you're um, setting aim. I would uh, push for an extra die. Better okay. outcome. That sounds um, good. And you said push it, what do you mean pushing for aim? Uh, uh, no. So the sniper has a special ability called aim. You can spend aim to get extra ticks on the clock for damage, so to speak. Um, mm-hmm. And the question that I, so like, how much aim do you have? It should be listed as special on your sheet. Uh, I have to look, I can't find that. She has Fine. one. Okay. Cool. Um, so you can spend your aim to basically get an extra tick of damage, uh, or you can save it you know, gambling that later there's probably going to be something even more threatening they want to spend aim on. Because, like, aim basically lets you, like, hit harder. So it's, like, really good for taking out the big ones. Um, and uh, the other question that I have is, are you marking black shot? Uh, yes. Awesome. I have five. That, that, that grants you potency against this creature because it is undead. You can tell because it doesn't have a heart. And it's kind of hard to be living when you don't have a heart. Uh, so uh, that grants you potency. So it's going to be essentially great effect which is like three ticks on the clock so go ahead and and throw the bones okay so controlled standard plus one wow it's gonna be a real long game wow all right well the opposite side of the dice uh no i i think it's fine um and uh i'll put you in a in a in a much more risky situation here in a second so um you line up the shot uh, you get the perfect angle and you fire. And for for like a split second, you're like, I think I shot between the like holes in his in, in his mask, like right, like I, that's a headshot. 
Uh, but as you start doing that, it rotates faster than you're expecting. So like as your finger is squeezing, it's already moving. And you see that the, the, the bullet like impacts against the sword. There's that flare of green energy. Um, like the, the, whenever black shot hits an undead, there's like this ethereal green flame that appears. So like it hits the sword and the bullet like vaporizes and turns into that, that, that green fire. And then it rotates um, and it, it starts advancing again, which isn't where the risky position comes up. Uh, what happens with the risky position is uh, your supernatural eye uh, sees that flare up in that one building and um, essentially, uh, yeah, F it. Um, uh, you see, you see, like, uh, you, you, you hear the sound uh, before, before, well, actually, I'll give you a chance to resist, uh, but it, uh, I'm going to describe what would happen if you don't resist, which is a long black arrow embeds itself in you. <laughs> Corruption and disease spreads mm -hmm. through your flesh. Guys, so. <laughs> I'm going to play this character for like two minutes real quick. <laughs> I can say, I, can say I resist. And, yeah, and I'm going to resist. Awesome. So uh, this is an insight resist, uh, I think, because you're, you're um, although you did take a physical action, so I, I would take prowess as well. Uh, no, I'll do insight. Cool. <clears throat> um, okay. Four. Take two stress. Take two stress, That's and you worst. dodge the arrow. Uh, cool. So uh, I'll tell you what does happen is you dodge the arrow, right? Like, and it impacts that stone hydra-looking thing, and the blackness out of the arrow spreads into the stone, and you'll actually see some of the hydra heads and stuff falling off. So oh, cool. Fuck You're fuck pretty fuck glad that you that, that that missed you. <laughs> okay. So now what I was gonna do as the yes, uh, um as those growlers are attacking our our um, our beautiful uh, rookies. Uh, this one right here, I'm going to reach over this guy's shoulder, and with my fine pistol, I'm going to try... My, my goal is to, uh, you know, just shoot it between the eyes mid-jump. Mid um, awesome. Oh. I'm not Question. very good at this, but we're going to try. <laughs> Would you like to make this a group action and try to lead the rookies in this sh like skirmish with these things? Um, I feel like this is meant to be like before they like before they get into a skirmish. That's what. Uh, cool. That was that was my goal was for this to be before. It so you're trying to make it rookies versus one one growler as opposed to rookies okay. versus two growlers. Is exactly. What I'm That's right. exactly what I'm trying to do. Uh, do you have a fine pistol? I do have a fine pistol. That puts you on even footing, so go ahead. Uh, unfortunately, I did not bring Blackshot with me, so... Oh, uh, you should do that every time. I know, time. I really should. That would have been really smart, but I didn't do it. It's okay. So, um, da -da 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 -da. I've got... Uh, it's it's going to be Risky Standard? Uh, risky... Mm, yes, Risky Standard. Okay. Uh, I'm going to push myself for an extra die so that I'm not rolling zero dice. Kelsa, talking shit and rolling crits. Let's see how this goes. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Six. No. Okay. Four. But I awesome. Uh, so I'm going to tell you what happens. Sure. Yes, you shoot it. As, it, as it's leaping, you just like... Uh, oh, so... Oh, yeah, you're pioneer. So, like, you, you, mm. you, like, wait until it's almost practically on top of the one rookie and you fire, and it's it's head shatters and it's uh it's it it uh it's gonna land on on a rookie and and uh, basically like try tearing into them with with its like claws and it's 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 what remains of its sharpened teeth um and you're going to kill it but your rookie's gonna die no no i don't think so. would you like to resist that <laughs> um uh i think what probably happens is uh I wind up, like, I shoot over this guy's shoulder, mm -hmm. and I see that it's, like, doing the chicken with its head cut off, still coming at it thing, and so I'm gonna push him out of the way and take it myself. Uh, all right. If, uh, yeah. yeah. You're, 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 it's, it's gonna attack you, you're going to take, uh, level one harm, yep. clawed and bitten, uh, okay. or you can resist that to zero uh, or spend it on me. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna resist that with prowess. Go for it. Mm, you shouldn't resist it and say it's me and get experience. Yeah, no, let's do it. That was you. I'll take it. Bitten and clawed. Done. Okay. Cool. 
that and I can pee. Can I spend that anywhere I want right now? Uh, no. Uh, I get well, the mission if I survive, it's unclear. Um, okay. Probably at the end of the mission. No, I'm taking it. So good, perfect, brilliant. Cool. Uh, cool. Because you're my, you're my, you're my little pinier buddy. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how? how uh, Panier. It, it's okay john calls them the paneer uh, <laughs> he says that they they live in a forest and they remind him of sog paneer so yeah. that sounds right uh -huh. that sounds right uh but uh it's a little yeah, cheesy. It, is, it is oh well played plus one um gg oh uh, uh, yeah okay cool uh-oh did i lose you folks no no, no I don't. all right we're good Excellent. Uh, so now the rookies are going to engage. So uh, I, I'd like to lead the rookies in a skirmish against these guys. Go for it. Uh, so I think it's just like charge, and like I'm gonna like try and fucking just lead these. Like I'm just gonna try and be the ideal rookie, right? Like it's awesome. just take your gun, mount, just shoot as they charge you. Like try not to let them. Try not to shoot your friends. Try not so to stab your friends. Uh, the question that I have is, are you just attacking the hound, or are you also attacking uh, the the big armored dudes in the back? Uh, so I think the goal is to sort of just fire forward. Like, okay. we're in this line, right? And we, we haven't broken yet, it doesn't sound like. So I think the ideal is just to volley forward and try to lead awesome. them in that. Uh, so that's area versus area, ones versus ones. All right, go ahead. Uh, are you firing with black shot? I am firing with black shot. Cool. Uh... Eric, are you also a rookie? I am, but I'm skirmishing with a melee with a saber. Uh, you can fight the or, or a bayonet, I guess, maybe. Actually, the no. Way it. The way the group actions work is everyone has to roll the same action. So it's okay, Alice, if you lead them in a skirmish. Right. Um, sure. And it's okay if you lead them in a shoot, but the the position and the effect is different. Right. Sure. Well, I'm yeah, I'm not trying to go against what Alice is doing. It's just that I don't actually have a gun. Cool. So, uh, so, that's, I mean, so, I, 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 so that's why I wanted to still skirmish. I just wanted to um, make sure that's so cool. So you can't you can't roll in the group action, but you can roll shortly afterwards. Okay. Um, you can assist the group action by saying that pr you protect some of your squad mates, or you could. Um, you, and I would ask you to also roll for, uh, as our sample rookie for all of the rookies one die. Um. So. I'm, I will. I will continue. To, is this a skirmish or shoot? I guess my like uh, disarm volley. Forward. From what I'm understanding, uh, Eric doesn't have a gun, so it is going to be yeah. a shoot. Uh, the die for the rookies is the same, but Eric is has the option of then directly engaging with anybody that survives afterwards, or oh. assisting, or any of the other things. All right. So position. Uh, if it's a shoot, uh, it's risky. Okay. Uh, I'm. I'm okay with this. Um, First, uh, yeah, I will, uh, I will push for a die. Keep that standard effect with black shot. Uh, uh, yes. Wait, don't, don't push great. yourself. Can I assist? Uh, yeah, you totally can assist, Eric. Let's, let's, let's do it uh, that way instead. Yeah, uh, we already, uh, we are. Yeah. Actually, in that case, reverse it. Still pushing myself, doing that for effect, not dice then. Oh, okay. Very cool. Uh... I like and when I assist, one. you take one stress, though, no. Alice, correct? No, no, you, you take, take a stress. stress. You take a stress. Uh, oh, okay. I gain stress if they fail this roll that you're about to do. Right. Okay. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm loyal, so plus one die for group actions. That's correct. Uh, so, crit. crit. Crit with great effect. Uh, Eric, Eric, you should uh, totally roll uh, for the... Skirmish. Uh, uh, no, you should roll one die for the rookies to see if Alice takes the stress from them. Yeah. Okay. Where is my... Oh, there is my value. It's behind my sheet. One second. Okay, there we go. Every inch of pannier is real good, y'all. Five. Nice. Cool. Alice, you take no stress. Critical effect goes off. This hound dies. These guys all die. So yeah, I think Done. it was just... Fantastic. I think it was just like, hold, hold, fire! And like, I think it was just the same, like, <laughs> she's tried very, very hard to be the ideal rookie, and I think it worked. And I think we all just actually just did what we were supposed to do for once. For uh, once. I, I would like to point out that uh, maybe one of the troops manages to make it all the way to the rookie line, and then you see Eric's character, who is called... Verdant. Uh, uh, Verdant what? You should know oh. the second name at least. Yeah, yeah. Verdant Yellow Blaze. Oh, cool. So yeah, Verdant Yellow Blaze, like 
uh, actually dashes in and like as it's like weapon is coming down, parries it, and as as uh, as he she, uh, right? she, cool. She uh, she's holding it in position, and the rest of rookies just like fire like the remainder of their volley into it, and it falls over too. That's uh, uh, I swear, like the only the only uh, man in our entire squad is uh, is the the officer. It's <laughs> literally the only one. The rest okay. of all women. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if that's uh, so, actually true, but it just kind of turns out. Uh, think so, <laughs> well, I mean, considering uh, that three of the players are female, that probably makes sense. So, uh, do you do you folks want to roll over some extra damage into this uh, heartless since you you got great a crit on great effect already? That would be awesome. Cool. I didn't know if you had something else in mind for your uh, great effect. Uh, no, fucking having okay. roll over damage on the big guy would be fucking fantastic. Thank uh, you. <laughs> Sweet. So you folks are uh, the the big guy is approaching, and I'm going to zoom back into Ginge. Ginge, uh, your squad is fighting this, and you see like that that first arrow goes, and then there's like deathly silence. You're not sure if the the person is aiming or waiting or changing position or what. What do you do? Uh, she's going to first look over to the rest of the group. She sees that they've uh, they're doing much better than she is right now, and they're in an okay position. And she's like. Uh, so she's just going to kind of swing around to the other side of the lamppost and see if she can get a shot into that window, or at least use the scope to see if there's someone still there aiming, and then take a shot if so. Awesome. So uh, what we're going to do is, you were in a specific position. I'm going to let you keep all your dice and everything, but we're going to drop down to a desperate position, because you level your scope, and as you look through your scope, you see that there is indeed a person in that window. It is a, it's a woman. Uh, she has dark hair. Uh, she shows absolutely no signs of, like, blight or damage or rot. There's none of that, like, welded-on stuff or, like, deformities, etc. Uh, but she has, like, a, a really weird, like, sigil carved into her flesh over one eye. And mm. she is, uh, she's, she's holding, like, a, a, a bow trained on you. So, like, the two of you are basically going to get, like, one split second of looking at each other, and then you're going to take your shot. Can I take an action and then a shot or a different absolutely. action? Absolutely. Yeah, tell me. Uh, I'm going to jump to the next lamppost if it's close enough. Okay, or something so, else on that level so I can just, yeah. like, as she's about to shoot, she's going to have to re-aim, and then I can take my shot. So what I'm hearing is you're trying to set yourself up with a maneuver. Yeah. yeah. Give, me your, give me a risky maneuver. Okay, can, uh, standard? Uh, standard, and you'll get one, one bonus die from your push previous, because now you're in a risky position. Okay. God damn it, guys. That was also wrong, uh, wrong, wrong thing. You the Marshall Oh, that was my bad. Sorry. Do you have more dice than maneuver? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I hate to do this, but I, I'm I'm a, I'm a stick you with the result. So I think that there's That's this. Fine. I think that there's this moment where you like see the arrow like leave, and you're like diving for the next post, and the arrow hits behind you, and you're like, sweet, she'll have to reposition, and and then the second arrow comes. You have no idea how she's <laughs> shooting this fast. This is like way too fast, and like. The, this arrow is like fired in such a fashion that it actually like go like there there's the lamppost with the like weird like hydra head or whatever mm -hmm. and like it goes through like all the metal grating like straight at you uh, so okay. you're gonna you're gonna get hit by a black arrow in your leg and there will be poison and corruption and badness uh, unless you want to resist which I'd is like to resist that please oh, awesome. uh, <laughs> cool uh, so inside, inside or prowess both are fine. I'll do insight again. Oh my god, guys! What what is happening right now? What are you at stress wise? You know. Are you are you are you rolling d fours? <laughs> ask you a serious no, question here. And this is what? I just double checked. Nope, I'm just yeah. just have really bad luck. All right. Uh, all right. Well, you take three stress. Okay. So how much stress am I taking? Three. Three. Okay. Uh, I have a trauma. All right. Oh god, the sniper's already in. <laughs> this seems to be a thing in these games. I've never seen a sniper survive their first mission without a trauma. It just doesn't yeah. happen. No, actually, Harper did. Yeah. Never mind. I mean, um, it's okay. Fucking, of course he did. <laughs> okay, traumas uh, are good. Wait. Uh, no, they're cool. Not, they're not when this terrible. thing's here. Not when this thing's here. Uh, so, what I'm going to say is there is a, a moment where, like, uh, the, the arrow misses you because the resistance roll happens no matter what. Mm -hmm. um, and... Uh, I'll ask you if this is okay. You can help me narrate or change it up however you want. But I feel like maybe like there's a sequence of other arrows that are like following you, and then um, 
like one of them hits maybe like a like a post or like a fence or something and it like showers all the stone on you and you kind of get like knocked over as this like thing kind of falls on you etc um i I like to think maybe she was jumping to another one or maybe she fell off the lamppost because she's used to like laying in the dirt and she's like and shot and shot she's not used to being like a jackrabbit trying to jump from lamppost to lamppost and just eats it (laughs) awesome uh so uh cool so we're gonna we're gonna leave that position there that's gonna play out of the course of the next minute or two rookies and medic you're facing a big guy what do you want to do uh well um i mean i kind of just want to group action shoot or skirmish against yeah same though i don't know no rookies have died so i don't have a gun so i can't do the shoot i'm sorry guys i'm carrying the tent and food i don't have i don't have the space for the ammo and and gun (laughs) what (laughs) okay (laughs) yeah no no uh no i don't uh that could have been interesting uh, um, I'm actually. Um, I only have. I really only have scout, uh, skirmish, shoot, and maneuver. I'm like real, like fine. basic. That's real basic. I uh, I, mm-hmm. I was in Miani and I get plus one die for group action, mm-hmm. so I put kind of one die at everything, so I can have at least two dice whenever I'm doing stuff. That's the concept. Awesome. Like my literal concept for this character is literally to like maneuver themselves into harm, and then you guys have to save them. So like, if you wanna, <laughs> if you wanna like. <laughs> That's why, that's why they have two in scout and two in maneuver. Like, let me be the bait. Let me go forward uh, and set people up, and then you guys can actually do the group I, action sure. if you why, want. Why don't you? Why don't you do that? Maybe you, you charge right. this thing. Yeah, desperate. Right. But exactly. uh, you'll set up the rest of the crew. Yeah. Um, oh, I love it. I think. I think maybe because of the success that you were riding the success for last time, that I, I get over uh, overconfident. Uh-huh. Right. No, no, no. Yeah. And uh, so you're like hold, and I just like charge, and like I just go, and I Leroy Jenkins it, and awesome, uh, right? yeah. now you guys have to all of a sudden scramble to help me. So I'm putting myself in harm's way here. That worked yeah. out great for him. <laughs> um, I just I want to remind you all um, as well because I, I I'm sorry I speak a lot in like game term, not in character a lot when yeah. I play games. I'm sorry, but it's just like I'm just a kid, and so whenever someone suffers harm protecting me, you may mark experience, and that doesn't say only once per venture nope just, yeah. so uh so, just letting so you know guess, that's what i'm doing I can, right now I can mark that experience from like immediately when it happens right? yes absolutely okay okay oh uh, not at the end awesome mm, cool yeah mm, so anyways that's what i'm doing and that's what's on the table if you choose to help me and yeah so tell me what okay. what is my position and effect here uh, uh desperate zero <laughs> no actually because your Damn. objective isn't to defeat or attack the person your objective is to not allow him to charge past you into the middle of the rookie squad with a weapon that can bisect all of them. So um, I'm going to actually say mm, no. he will stop and f- fight you or at least take a, take a couple of swings at you while not facing the rest of the rookies. So that feels like standard effect to me, uh, but it is desperate. Right, but that's, to my character, I feel like that's actually the side effect that's beneficial here. Like, I really think I want to do damage to them. I really think I'm trying to skirmish and, like, like I got this. Actually, I feel okay. good. Um, right? Then it's then it's desperate, limited. Um, yeah, that makes sense. To tell right. a little bit of a story to the rest of the people watching, uh, every opponent has what's called a threat rating, and this thing is a threat rating two. Uh, you're tier one, which means that by default he has quality on you, and uh, in melee probably potency as well. So like you might be at zero effect. Let me yeah. Think. If you uh, if you play standard blades, uh, threat desperate limited. Place of tier. Yep. Uh, All right. Um, can I get a devil's bargain? Uh, uh, here's the problem with how you play a lot of times. You're your own devil's bargain. Yeah, I don't. I don't really have a, a, a good one here. Look. Um, does anybody else have an idea for devil's bargain? Um, he becomes the next target of Archer Girl. He doesn't good. successfully distract, and it doesn't help good. at all. That's not a devil's bargain. That's <laughs> well. It, the, 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 that's his goal so it, it technically a devil's bargain um, should happen regardless of the goal um yeah, yeah I, I have i have a suggestion for you uh what do you have in terms of gear uh fresh food tent um armor and a sword cool uh i'm gonna say that no matter what you do trying to like parry this thing's blows is going to, it's going to shatter your sword 
Oh, I mean, that sounds that sounds totally reasonable. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> breaks my sword. Totally. I love that. All right. I'm cool with that. Give me that extra die. All right. Cool. Let me skirmish. Oops. I removed the dot. I meant to. Oops. <laughs> That's not the same. And uh, des I'm desperate and limited. Um, but I'm rolling two dice here, so I get one bonus die. Absolutely. And I got a five. Awesome. Uh, so so what's my push, consequence? Uh, so why don't you describe to me how you actually land a blow against this thing? I mean, it's a telling blow. It's, it, it's not going to kill right. it, but it, it hurts. No, I think I think it's... I uh, Okay, um, if you want. I truly think that I take it by surprise. Like, this thing is like, is this thing... Is this fucking guy serious right now? Like, and I just, like, stab right into it. And then just looks down and just like breaks my sword. <laughs> like it's like, why would you? Why did you think that would work? <laughs> uh, cool. uh, you know yeah. what I mean? Like I just, uh -huh. I, I was so overconfident that like I succeed beyond my wildest dreams. It's kind of dumbstruck that it actually would, it would do this thing to it. And it's like, oh, all right, <laughs> it's just like, all right, here comes the damage. Uh, yeah. So you're gonna take. Uh, so it, it, it. Like you, 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 you scream. You me it, across the. You, you stab it. No, actually, it's far worse than that. Uh, mm -hmm. So okay. it's got potency in melee combat, right? And it's because yeah. it's like huge. It's super strong. This thing's been fed uh, the substance yeah. called cinder blood, and it it um it like lifts up its sword, and like you're like, all right, I'm going to try and parry it, and it's going to go through your sword and through you and into the ground. It's going to bisect you. You're going to take level five harm. <laughs> Five uh, harm. Yeah. Uh, That's not even a thing. It's four. Yeah. Does, that, does that kill my soul? I mean, okay, wait, wait, wait. If if you if you spend your armor, that'll knock it down to level four harm, and then, then I can save you. Oh yeah, yeah. You have yeah no, I absolutely, I absolutely am wasting. I'm burning my armor to four. Because uh, awesome. I have not today, which says I can spend yeah. an immediate, uh, I can spend doctor. a doctor use immediately after a soldier takes level four harm, and then treat them, and they reduce it to level three harm instead. So. And then, I, am I correct in that you can resist it down to two, or is it just stuck at three? Uh. I would like to resist that with. Ooh, yeah. prowess because... as I try to dodge, and by dodging, I would actually am able to glance more of the blow. It looks worse than what it is. Uh, so, so you can, but then not that today. Trigger not today. That's, you, would, you would still go to three. That's now, what doctor, was the yeah. doctor has another oh. ability, which is they can spend a doctor use to have you fight as if you had no wounds mm, mm. Um, for a scene. So uh, let's do that. Uh, okay. Then let me let me let me just spend my armor, take the four, and awesome. then you do that so today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna okay. change the the description, right? So like before, yeah. it just went right through you, and now it like hits your armor and like you see the armor like spark like as it like rakes through the chainmail and the the chainmail separates and then it runs you through uh, like the belly and just like whips the sword like forward and you go flying back into your troops and then it starts it's going to start advancing but this all takes like 30 seconds which means that among other things Eric has set you folks up for, to do some extra damage while it's standing cool. there still trying to wonder why this idiot rookie is. I would like to lead a shoot against You're welcome. This thing. So okay. if I'm if I'm stopping to put You're treating me, if so I'm, you're, if I'm you're not part of the group. To put action. verdant yellow uh bl blaze, is that right? Yeah. Uh like guts back inside of of her stomach. Uh I don't think that I can actually participate in this role. No. So that's, um, that's totally fine. All right, cool. So um, I think that there's just like a moment where, d please describe what your doctoring looks like. Uh, yeah, so like, I think like, like I think it like literally throws her back like right into me and I'm like, oh shit. And so like lay her out and just like, like hands up to the elbows, putting uh, intestines back in and from nowhere I have just this huge like uh, line of, of cat gut uh, string and uh, 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 a needle and I'm just like whip stitching this close like as quickly as you've ever seen anyone sew anything uh, I'm, I'm just putting stitches in across like uh, across the layers it's like this is ridiculous and I'm absolutely <laughs> covered in blood um, awesome. so uh, All right. Up to the elbows. Uh, cool. So, Eric, I'm going to ask you to roll the one die for the group action, and uh, Alice, if you'll uh, lead the shoot action. So, what's the uh, what was the setup? Is that increased position effect? Like, what's uh, the... You you tell me. Uh, which way uh, do you want to take it? 
I kind of want a fact. I don't no give a shit about position right now. Sounds good. Uh, so what is the position? Uh, risky, because cool. you folks are shooting into a thing that is currently not in melee engaged with you. Cool. So stand up. If it's in melee, it's desperate. Yeah. Right. That's so why I've been saying shoot. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm rolling. I'm rolling for the rookies, and it's a shoot maneuver. Uh, shoot shot. Uh, group action, that. right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, just making sure. Uh, for me, for yes. the rookies. Nice. Uh, okay, I will push myself for an extra die. Six. Whew, no side effects. One, two, three. That completes the clock. Yes. Fuck um, you, guy. Um, yeah, rookie, rookies. Rookies just fire a full volley, yeah. and this thing like steps forward, and you see the like green of of uh, the black shot hitting it. And it steps forward, and you see the 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 flames are going on, and then it tries to step forward again, and uh, you hear it growl something that sounds like hate in Zemyadi, and then it just falls. Over. I'm Zemyadi. I understood it. Yeah, cool. Uh, and yeah, it, it falls over in the street, still uh, ethereal green flames coming off of it. Yeah, now I'm going to grab our mm -hmm. scout, and I'm going to try and drag sniper. us all... Uh, yeah, sorry, sniper. I'm going to try and get us all into the nearest, like, building. Like, just cool. fucking out of the archer's way, just, like, into a building, like... Yeah, yeah. and I think I'm, uh, by this point, have, have uh, managed to stop the bleeding, and uh, like smelling salts, get uh, verdant conscious again, uh, and get her standing up and uh, hobble after you. So, just awesome. Yeah. Uh, so I think what we have to do is a risky maneuver to get everyone yeah. into the building safely. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I cannot lead this action. I can. I mean, I can't lead this action. Uh, I'm so I, I up, think I can. But I would. I could. I think I can. I. I think I will do it. Um, so. Uh, like I'm, I've maybe I hand off uh, Verdant to one of the other rookies, and I'm like, oh. I'm like, come on. Uh, so, oh boy, uh, you, you know, oh. you, no, it's it's okay. It just means that you'll take a little bit of stress. But I'm like, actually not that bad at maneuver. So okay. yeah. Uh, so ah. ev everyone can roll maneuver here. Um, and what I'm going to say is obviously, if we were watching the movie of this, like everything you guys said is totally down. But like if we were watching the movie, you would see like everybody having shot this thing standing there, and like the rookies are like, yeah. And then somebody goes, look out, and like pushes one of them out of the way, and then like an arrow yeah. lands exactly there. And then you're all scrambling, and it's just pew, 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 like three more arrows come down, and then they yeah. like stop. Uh, so like, what, what do you, um, can I can I get a risky maneuver from all of you to try and get yeah. uh, risky standard? Uh, you don't have to roll yet. Uh, you'll be back up on your feet and able to act after this, like once they enter the building, because that's going to be a new scene. Just a quick nap. Uh, mm -hmm. Just a quick nap. Uh, <laughs> can you? This is the first time we've seen somebody with level three harm. So I want to ask you real quick: What does need help mean? That means if I roll really bad, I'm risking of, can, of elevating uh, the harm, right? Need it, help is no. you cannot take an action unless someone is assisting you. And you have somebody giving you a shoulder, which means that you yeah. can still make a maneuver roll. Okay. Um, it just means that you I'm, have I'm... such a wound that you can't like run around by yourself. I will remind yeah. everyone that there is a rule in place that you can push yourself to act without harm, without harm penalties. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so. uh, all right. So I I give you a stress. I am I am I've okay. I have used up my effectiveness. Uh, I give myself a stress. That's good. Rookies, roll um... that die and roll those dice for for our. So, I'm so, actually going to push myself here. Okay. Go for it. So uh, does, does Eric um, roll once just for all the rest of the rookies or once for himself and once as a rookie? I can roll for one. Eric, for just, ro just, like... just roll for yourself. Uh... Five. Five, yes. Okay, good. Brilliant. We don't die. <laughs> uh alice if you if uh well actually i already rolled for the rookies and they got a one unfortunately sweet uh i have i don't have a trauma but i'm really close um, cool. but um, uh, we, we make it with only uh, some consequences <laughs> uh i'm gonna say that one of the rookies gets clipped uh yeah. and you can protect them you can resolve resist you could spend armor uh whatever whatever you whatever you like here don't make it verdant. Don't make it verdant. Gets clipped. That's all I'm saying. Uh, I, I don't get to decide that. I actually yeah. say it's not a PC rookie and Marshall. Who is it? Okay. Oh, that's right. me then. Uh, yes. <laughs> I think I have to. I have to Zim resist that, right? Like, yeah. I, I think to. it's got to be you, Alice. Uh. So I think the. So yeah. Wait. Wait. You said non. Oh, wait a second. You said non PC, right? 
I have uh, to resist the yeah. Not it has to be me that gets shot. I am going to try and save them from dying. Is what cool. I'm saying. Cool. Right. Go for it. Um, I think it's just exactly what you described earlier. Just like we're we're just getting inside the thing, and the last arrow comes down, and I think it hits whatever rookie ends up dying. I just yell no, and I'm just gonna try and shoulder tackle them through the door. Do it. Just, I'm just gonna try and prowess resist it if that makes sense to you. Absolutely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so you successfully prowess resisted. How much stress do you take? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I have four dice in prowess. So that's Good luck. gross. Congratulations. Let's... Yeah. <laughs> I do not take any stress. Nice. Uh, you managed to survive to get another day. Uh, yeah. So you folks are are holed up in this building doing that thing where you like peek out the windows to check and see if if the the arrow sniper is still up there. Um, somebody. Uh, should probably wake up the the sniper sniper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and sure enough, do that. Um, as as you folks are are kind of like gathering your wits and sort of like stabilizing, coming down the staircase of this abandoned, dilapidated house is um, Bordis, who is a spy, uh, who shows up and has uh, is is got a, a heavily bandaged with blood seeping through uh, wound uh, in his in his upper arm. And he mm -hmm. shows up and he goes like, well, you're a sorry looking bunch and maybe we should cut there and come yeah. back. I was going to say, this sounds like the perfect time to, to take a break. Uh, so let's...